Welcome back. The new executive director of the United Way, Leeds and Grenville, is with me, and that happens to be Haley Jack. And I have some questions for her, so let's talk with Haley. Welcome to the program. Hello, thank you for having me. Hey, it's our pleasure. So I understand that today is actually the last day that organizations can, a can apply for funding. It was to be the last day, but we've actually extended our oh. applications till February 16th, so organizations can apply until oh, that's then. that's nice. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So what is the criteria that they have to follow when they are filling out the application? So if organizations are, are doing programming that fall under healthy communities, healthy kids, and poverty to possibilities, then they can apply for their programming. Oh, great. Oh, you're going to have a lot. Yes. Yes, you yes. will. <laughs> you will indeed. So um, let's talk about the annual campaign. How did that go this year? Because I, I know that there's a big struggle within just the communities nowadays mm -hmm. to, to pay for the rent, to pay for, you know, food and, and just, you know, everyday living. Yeah. So how did the campaign go? The campaign did really well, uh, though we did not reach 100%. We came so close. So excited to share. It was 94.51% of our goal. Out. So we raised just over $883,000. Wow. So we're very proud of our community. Thank you so much for all the support from the donors and the people talking about us and the people who believe in our work. Uh, and uh, we're so excited to move into this year and, and start allocations and, and divvy the money out to the local people doing the boots on the ground work. Well, congratulations Thank to you. you because it was it was hard. It had to have been hard with everything that's going on with the, the economy and whatnot. Yeah, I yeah. think donorship is down yeah. across nonprofits and it, it was a, a, a tough year. So uh, moving into 2024, we're, we're very excited. Although it was tough, we were so close. 94.51% <laughs> is pretty awesome. That is yeah. pretty darn yeah. awesome. So Haley, you're new in this position at the United Way. So I'm, I'm not going to tax you too much with too many <laughs> questions, but can you give us um, um, just a, a little look into what 2024 will look like at the United Way? Yeah, I, I am new and it's uh, it's been a lot to learn, but the team has been so welcoming and nice. friendly. And I know they're really eager to connect with our community uh, and connect with our partners that we fund. And we're also very excited to really start some work on our Y2Y -Y board, which is our youth board. Okay. So the United Way as a whole that does fundraising and campaigning and allocations of funds, we also have a youth board. Oh. So it's for youth across Leeds and Grenville. It is virtual, so anybody can attend. Uh, and they also do their own fundraising and their own allocations to youth programming. That is nice. It's amazing. And it's, it's it can all go towards your community hours. It's great for your resume, great for college and university applications, uh, amazing work experience. So we are that. recruiting for five students this year to join that board. Um, okay, so age, does age matter? High school students. Okay, we wouldn't yeah. want the yeah. elementary in public, that's <laughs> yeah. for sure, but no, I can yeah. understand that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if somebody signs on in their ninth year when they're yeah. beginning, they have four years of work experience come oh. the end of it. Or if you're in grade 12 and you want to just experience the board for the year, you're welcome to apply also. So we'll start that recruitment soon. And we're hoping to gather youth from Lanark Leeds, or sorry, from Leeds and Grenville. Yes, yeah. that would be nice. Yeah, it would Spread be great. Around a little bit. Yeah. And um, so that will be on the website. People can just go to the United Way website and, and it will be there? It will be there, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. all right. Yeah. Uh, be, before um, um, I let you go here, I want to talk about the Urgent Needs Fund. How mm -hmm. did that come about? So Urgent Needs Fund came about by the view of community impact. So the United Way is kind of as a toll, as a whole are looking how we can make a big impact in our community. Mm -hmm. And so over 2022 and 2023, uh, we held some community conversations to hear about where the impact needed to be the most. And out of that came a lot about poverty and homelessness and housing. Uh, and so we looked at what we could do kind of acutely and immediately outside of still supporting organizations. We've started an urgent needs fund. So that's going to launch February 5th. It's coming up very soon. Yes. And it is intended to help people who are on the cusp uh, of not being able to afford their housing due to an extraordinary bill. So if your furnace died and you yes. needed to have it fixed, or if your car battery broke and you use your car to get to and from work, 
These are things outside of your normal budget. So we are opening that up on February 5th. We have talked extensively with social service providers in our area about funding criteria, uh, criteria and how to apply. Uh, people can also self-refer by calling the volunteer center. And, okay. and speaking to them and there is an application process to go through but we are hopeful that this will be a short-term solution to help people overcome maybe a month that's difficult. Because if they didn't have a furnace they couldn't live in the house. No. They uh, can't go to work uh, because they're trying to get their furnace repaired. Yeah and if you had to repair yeah. your furnace and you're already living kind of paycheck to paycheck exactly. you might risk not paying your rent which also leads to so hopefully, hopefully yeah. this is a solution for some people. Just have a difficult month. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, is there anything else that you would like our viewers to know about the United Way? As I said, I know you're new there <laughs> yeah. and this is a little unfair to have you yeah. in so early, but okay. I thought it would be... Yeah. I think if I'm thinking about the team, they would want me to just extend the greatest thanks okay. to the community for supporting them and believing in them uh, and to all of our donors and stakeholders and people who believe in us. Uh, we're just very grateful. Thank you. Yeah.